Welcome back to The Downsize. This is our weekly weigh-in. It's Sunday, September 8th, and we're on week 47 of our weight loss adventure. I'm Lorraine Durham, and I've lost over 50 pounds on compounded trisepatide. Trisepatide is the same ingredient as what's in Manjaro and Zepbound. It's changed my life, and I want everyone to know about it. And I'm Christopher, her husband, and I've lost over 78 pounds. I'll update you on my GLP-1 adventure, and we'll talk about what's been going on in our lives this week. Of course, we'll also share our weights, the ups, the downs, and everything that comes in between with this crazy and chaotic adventure. Before we start, please like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of The Downsized. And just a reminder, we are not doctors. Always consult a healthcare professional before starting or adjusting any weight loss medication or treatment. So, you want to start? Sure. This is week 47 of our weight loss adventure, journey, whatever you want to call it. So this week I was down 1.4 pounds for a total weight loss of 51.4 pounds. That's the most I've lost in a week in quite some time. My starting weight was 193. My current weight this morning was 141.4. This is the lowest I've ever been as an adult. I maybe weighed this in middle school. I, I think I'm going to try to get into the 130s. So I'm going to start working on that when we get back from uh, vacation. So 130s now? That went that crazy doctor that said you could be in I the mean, 130s? I'm, I'm 141. Like, I'm so close. Like, And I'm 5'4 yeah. and a quarter. I used to be 5'5 five, five and a half, but I shrunk, and now I'm 5'4 and a quarter. And how are you feeling? Because you look great, but how do you oh, feel? Thank you, dear. I feel good. There's still a little pockets of, I, I know you can't spot reduce, but I still have little pockets that I, of fat that I would like to have go away. What's a few more pounds? Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you, so let me ask an, a question. Uh, hopefully I don't sound like a terrible man, but we'll do our best. You know, you're not 16 years old, right? I am 55 years old, mom of three. Yes, indeed. I am aware of these facts. <laughs> so you know it's not going to be six... all like bounce a quarter oh, off of it. No. Tight I mean, and... I've got, I've got, I've always had big arms, but now I've got some loose, loose skin there, which I don't like. So yeah, I'm aware that I'm not a teenager. I'm not a young thing anymore. And I'm going to have some loose spots and some loose skin and, uh, you know, I just okay. I see lots of conversation and it happens on the man side too. So it's yeah. the I weighed because I weighed close to three hundred pounds. We'll go over that mm -hmm. in a little while. You know, I want to get to one ninety. I was one eighty six when I graduated from high school, but I was seventeen, eighteen years old and you're mm -hmm. all still made out of rubber and your skin just kind of bounces back no matter what. Yeah, I was two hundred pounds when I graduated I mean, I don't, high school. <laughs> I'm fifty six years old now. I don't think I'm gonna ever get to eighteen again, no matter what I weigh. I I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, our skin is definitely not going to act like a young person's skin. Or our bones are our But joints. I never had, <laughs> I never had uh, a, a fit body as a teenager or even as a adult. So I don't. And I and I I I you know, and it is kind of disconcerting to lose 50 pounds and you think that everything is just going to be great and you're going to look great and you're going to look like a magazine and then you look in the mirror and it's wrinkly and it's saggy and you're like dang i went through all this work and it's not perfect and that is eye-opening it was eye-opening for me but you know what it is i'd gladly take being 141 and have a little loose skin than being 193 and having a hard time going up and down stairs so say hello to jojo our cat jojo has joined the chat so yeah i and what's really what's a few more pounds at this point well, and i, mean, I want to get to a weight where i want to stay at I've, I've stayed 142 143 i've been bobbling around there for the past uh month or so so i feel like i can maintain here well i think it's just as we all talk about what maintenance looks like and goals look like. It's level setting and not 
creating unrealistic expectations because I'm never going right. to be Thor. Well, I'm never going to be 125 <laughs> no. pounds. No. <laughs> if, if only. Right? The hair's never going to magically grow, and grow back. It's, I'm not going to be Brad Pitt. It's just, it's not I a thing. I like Brad Pitt, but I do Thor. But, yeah, well, Thor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Hemsworth is a fabulous man for sure. Ooh, mama. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, I'm never going to be 120, 125 pounds, but I can be 138 pounds. I don't think that's an unrealistic expectation. So, and, and uh, if it's you not did, the number expectation, it's the what do you think that does for your mindset, and what do you see in the mirror expectation? I, you know, and it's hard. When I first lost the the fifty pounds, it was hard to look in the mirror and see a thinner person. I was still body dysmorphia is a real thing, and I would look at these new clothing sizes that I bought, and they it looked the same as the size 12s that I used mm-hmm. to wear. I'm like, this doesn't look any smaller. But I had some jeans in my closet that I bought as gold jeans. Like, once I lose weight, I'm going to fit into these. Well, they've been in my closet for years, literally years. And now they fit. And I know they were small because I put them on. I'd put them on every time I lost weight to see, if now can I get them up past my thighs? Can I get them up past my butt? Can I button them? And it, the answer was always no. And now I can put them on very easily. So I know that proves to me that I am a smaller size, but it, it just, my brain is just taking a little bit of time to get used to that idea. I just find I have as much, I guess what would be called age dysmorphia as body dysmorphia. Well, you think you're 17? What? I don't think be? of myself as 56 years old. I really don't. Every once in a while, I'll walk you know, through the bathroom and go into the shower or whatever, and I'm like, who the hell's that old guy? <laughs> Where'd he come from? Who's that old man in my bathroom? <laughs> no, it's a much smaller old man. So that the body pieces, but you combine the body and the age, and it's just yeah, a mean, lot some days. We're in our 50s. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't feel old. I don't – I've never really felt – Oh, you know what I mean? Like I used to think 50 was old and now I don't. 80 uh, pounds or almost 80 pounds ago, I was feeling older. I was well, I was big enough to where I was at the point where I was going, oh, I understand why people buy the one-story houses because these steps are a real pain in my butt. Yeah, yeah, we have a two-story house. But yeah. now they're not a problem. So it's that where does body and age and all of that intersect conversation. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you, how long did it take you to get to your goal weight? I got to my goal weight of 150. The first goal weight. <laughs> my first goal weight of 150 in 27 weeks. Mm-hmm. So I lost 1.58 pounds per week. Oh, that's slow. Is it slow? It, not really. Our average weight loss on this medication, most people are going to lose one to two pounds a week. Mm-hmm. Unless you're heavier than we are when we started, you might lose a little faster at first. But generally, over time, it's going to average out to one to two pounds a week. So I've been on maintenance now for 20 weeks. Seems weird. That that seems like a long time. And I've lost about eight more pounds in those. I mean, so have you really been on maintenance? I don't really know how to do maintenance now. Dosage wise, I've dropped down my dosage. So I went up. I hit 12.5 was my highest uh, dosage level. And when I hit my goal weight, I dropped down to 10. And then I was a few, four weeks on 10. And then I was four weeks on 7.5. I said, I'm doing great. I'm going to go down to five. And my body said, eat, 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 eat. (laughs) So I said, oh, five is not going to be the dose for me. So I went back to 7.5. Do you need an in-between dose? Because obviously that 7.5 is still taking weight off of you. Do you need a six? I think this week I was especially focused on like really sticking to my... Yeah, we Sticking ate better to my this goals. week. I mean, we it, it was, yeah. We ate at home. We I focused on protein. I think I got to the gym three or four times. And I knew that because I knew we had this vacation coming up. And mm-hmm. I wanted to have a little extra wiggle room for vacation. So if y'all have ever done that, um, you know what I'm talking about. And I want to be very careful that I don't blow it on vacation. Now, I'm not going to blow 50 pounds in 14 days. It, it can mess up your progress. So, well, so we'll, yeah, talk, never, we'll talk through goals for vacation yeah, in a little I've, while. But. I've never tried to maintain a weight before. I'm not really even sure what that looks like eating wise because I've never been at a goal weight before. I've always been in weight loss mode. So it was either weight loss mode where I'm gung-ho eating very little or 
binge mode where I'm like, screw it. I don't care. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Give me the donuts. Well, so so <clears throat> I need to find that in-between place that has always eluded me. Do you think there are people out there and are, that just have a weight? Have and a it's weight? not a goal weight or a... What do you mean a weight? The people that just wake up in the morning and they go, oh, I, I weigh 150 pounds, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. it's not their goal weight. It's not their... They're not fat weighted. It's just this is what I weigh. Like a like a you're just regular like a person like who a real, hasn't yeah. had to diet their whole life. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're certainly not watching this channel. I would <laughs> venture to guess. But what I uh, wonder is, does the mindset shift eventually, and you just go, "I'm a hundred and fifty pound, four hundred and forty pound person." Not I'm at goal weight. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really understand maybe the difference. Because you just accept that's who you are. Accept that's who, who you want you to be. Are. Who am I? Great questions. <laughs> <laughs> I am someone who's at my goal weight. But you've built your entire thing for the last 30 years around getting to goal weight. Yeah. There's this big yeah. goal down this long yeah. tunnel, tunnel that Watchers, was unobtainable. It was unobtainable. The 156 pounds was my goal weight at Weight Watchers for the last 20 years. And I could never, could never even get remotely close. Like I think one time I got down to 170 when I was running half marathons and working out twice a day. That was the only time I could even get close. So... You got to the goal, right? So you, I'm at, you, I got you to made, the goal. In fact, you've passed the goal. I've passed the goal. And you've set new goals. I have set a new goal. Right. So at what point Do does weight no longer be the central part of your life? Oh, never. It'll in your, always. your mindset. Never. I'll never. You don't think? <laughs> oh, never. I'll, well, I mean. You, know, you thought you'd never I'm get to never. the goal. Yeah, I feel like I'm always going to weigh myself every day. I'm not I'm saying you shouldn't gonna do that. I'm always going to be focused on it. I'm always going to be scared I'll gain the weight back. Yeah, that's a fear. When they talk about maybe compounding yeah. medication going away, I I went into a panic and mode I agree. there for about two it weeks. It just feels like we don't know what we don't know. And five years yeah, from now, if we've maintained this good. weight and the medications are more accessible and they're cheaper. Yeah, and it's I mean, not it could be a, a whole different ball game. I mean, I hope we have a different mindset. I, I don't know I do. that my... Uh, I do. I hope we do. I guess we'll see. Keep, yeah, I keep don't know. Keep following along. Uh, we don't, we, we've never been there, so we don't actually <laughs> Hit know. like and subscribe so you can see if we change our mindset. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think all these years of focusing on it and trying to achieve it, I'm not going to let go of it now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to let go of it now. You better believe it. Well, but it's no longer so. a goal. It, you obtained the goal. <laughs> now my goals are different. So now my goals are to be healthier, to maybe get some muscle, to eat protein every day, to drink my 80 ounces of water a day, to, you know, those are always my goals or maybe my, what did you call them earlier? My tactics, my strategies. There's a difference between a goal and a tactic. Uh, what, okay. Tactics are the things you do to get to a goal. Indeed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I use Mochi Health as my online telehealth provider. I've used them since February, and I'm happy with the online doctor I see, and I'm happy with their customer service. I don't work for Mochi, uh, but I do have a referral code that they give a referral code to everyone. So if you'd like to use my code and save $40 on your first order of GLP-1s, go to joinmochi.com and enter my code QIYGO. Not zero, G O eight, and we'll put that in the description. All right, Christopher, so tell us about your progress this week. It's been a good week. It, it continues to be slow for me, and it has been for, gosh, I don't know, 10, 11 weeks now. Mm -hmm. So I started at 285.4 pounds. And I say this every week almost like word for word, I think, but my weight had been ascending pretty rapidly ascending. up to, to, I would have been at 300 within a mm -hmm. couple of months mm -hmm. for sure. My current weight is 206.6. .6, so I'm down almost a pound. We'll round it up because Lorraine likes to round up. I think it's 0.7 or something round. like that. Oh, you always <laughs> round. 
<laughs> but I, I have a whole system, but yes, that's Yeah, <laughs> there's this whole videos on her system. That it's like the TikTok girl math kind of thing. Um, weight loss math. Weight loss math. <laughs> uh, so this week I'm down about a pound. So continue to make progress. Mm -hmm. I like where I've been, though. A lot of people worry a lot about going too slow and paying too much and all of this stuff. And I kind of feel like just continuing to maintain or lose a little bit is good with me. And the longer I can maintain, the better shot I have at staying awake long term. All right. Does that make sense or no, am I it, just crazy? It does. And I think it's one to two pounds a week. So that's really what you've been what you've been doing now it seems since i've been in maintenance your weight loss has slowed down i don't know if one has to do with the other um because yeah. we eat kind of the same things i think it's similar i think it's just a function of now you know i started at 285 i'm down 78 pounds i think my mm -hmm. body just i don't have as much muscle I don't, there's just not as much action going on here to lose weight with so it's mm -hmm. a little bit more challenging mm -hmm. and i think we had my birthday. There was, there's been a lot of stuff yeah. going on. So yeah. you and I were talking about this the other day is I think a lot of t a lot of the weeks, most of the weeks, I wouldn't credit credit it to a stall, which is what a lot of people will say. Mm -hmm. I would say it's been a result of me looking at what's going on and going, well, it turns out if you eat two pieces of birthday cake, mm -hmm. that's on me. And that's not on that. And right, or, or what times it, and go out for your birthday. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, but we, and we haven't done excess, but we have done more than the calories that i need to be at a deficit someday yeah, so they can creep you have to take really i have to take responsibility sure. for that, right right i mean nobody's force feeding you <laughs> but i think particularly this past week we haven't eaten out at all we've cooked mm -hmm. every night you'll see lots of cooking videos coming up mm -hmm. first one will come out uh, friday night we actually filmed this on friday so tonight so you'll see some more of those in the next few weeks but yeah i feel like it's done pretty good so this is my 10th week 15 milligram dose. As I said, I've, I started on compound tirzepatide. I went working with my local doctor just to make sure I had some health things going on there. Wanted to monitor very closely. Went to Manjaro, then to Zepabound when it was approved for uh, weight loss or it was launched for weight loss. Back in December. Yep, back mm -hmm. in uh, late November, early December, and back to compound tirzepatide as a result of shortages and so forth. You'll see, I actually. We'll take some bound pen on, on the cruise ship with mm -hmm. you. Yep. And I haven't noticed any difference in the way they work at all. The side effects have been the same. The weight loss has been the same. Mm -hmm. No difference whatsoever. Yep. Yep. We also have been doing our interview series. pretty much Downsized dish. Right. Pretty much one a week. I don't know how many we've done at this point. but We've done quite a few. I hope you'll check that out after this video. We talk to everyday people just like you. And if you'd like to come on our show and be interviewed for The Downsized Dish, send me an email to ldurham at folio28.com. I'll send you a link to our calendar. You pick a time that works for you. We'll talk for about 30 minutes and learn about you and your ups and downs and how you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's for everybody at all stages of the journey. So just thinking about it, starting, in the middle, maintenance. I'd really like to hear from some more people in maintenance but everyone's welcome to uh, come on the show and we've done international interviews so we've had folks from australia i'm looking for young people too our audience certainly skews more towards our right. age but there's 190 million people that are overweight or obese in the u.s and we want to talk three or to four them. times that in the rest of the world and i continue to chat and talk with people all over youtube tiktok instagram and say hey would you like to be on our channel lorraine what were we up to this week We've been getting ready to go on vacation, so we're leaving on a cruise tomorrow. We're trying to figure out some cruise goals, things we want to do to help us with our weight while we're on the ship. So going back to your video that you did on tips on cruising, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys haven't watched it, great video. We had a conversation there, tips on cruising. So what do you think? What We will be, just to recap, we'll be about 14 days on two ships, the Carnival Horizon, for six nights, and then we'll get off the Carnival Horizon in Miami and get on the MSCC Shore or Escape. Seascape, I forget which yeah. one it is, mm -hmm. for seven nights. Mm -hmm. What do we want? What What are the weight loss expectations? What are, what are the goals here? 
I'm not expecting to lose any weight in the next two weeks, that's for sure. If I could hold my weight gain to under five pounds, I'd consider that a win. Mm -hmm. And I have some things that I want to do, be sure that I do while I'm on the ship. And these are things you can do on vacation or anytime you're going out of town. Should I just list my list my things that I want to do? Sure. So number one is take the stairs. There's a lot of different floors up and down, so I want to try to take the stairs every time. I want to still continue to drink my 80 ounces of water every day. Sometimes when you're traveling, it's hard or you forget to drink your water. I have a steel water bottle that I'm going to take with me on my bag, in my bag on the plane. Most airports have those water bottle fillers now. So after you go through security, you can fill your own bottle up with water. And then when I'm on the ship, too, they have ice and water available where I can fill up. I'm also getting water delivered to our room in advance, so we have bottles of water. So I'll have no excuse not to drink my water. I want to try to get 30 minutes of exercise in every day. So I'll try to keep track of my steps, walk 10,000 steps. Do, we're doing some excursions, maybe go to the gym, maybe an exercise class if there's a, like yoga or something, Pilates, something like that available. So I think all these little things add up. I want to focus on protein, especially at breakfast. I find when I eat a good 30 to 40 gram protein breakfast, I generally do better for the rest of the day and I don't really have any hunger. It just really helps if I get that protein in early in the day. So I want to avoid those starchy, carby pastries that'll be on the breakfast buffet, maybe saying, hello, (laughs) hello, Lorraine. I want to limit my alcohol to evenings, maybe one or two drink max. Alcohol just really doesn't help with anything. And I find now on GLP-1 medications, if I drink too much, it, it just makes me sick. I don't feel good. It doesn't doesn't uh, why bother sometimes definitely want to avoid frozen drinks because although it's fun to sit out in the sun and sip a pina colada those things are like five or six hundred calories so much sugar like just i've had them i know what they taste like i don't i'm good (laughs) yeah and if and i also want to tell you that if it doesn't look amazing don't put it on your plate so you know a lot of times you're in a buffet situation and there's all this food and the tendency for me at least is to take a little bit of everything and kind of load up but sometimes it just doesn't even look good it's just there and we can take it so we take it but really make it a point to only pick out the best looking things like the things that just maybe it's something special that you can't get at home or something that really looks like it was going to taste really good and if you get it on your plate and you get back to your table and you start eating it and it's not good just stop eating it yeah what a concept because i you know usually i'll just it's not that great but i'm just going to keep eating it anyway no stop put your plate to the side they will take your plate away and uh, maybe you're done you don't need anything else maybe you go get something else maybe maybe you're good so if it doesn't taste good stop eating it those are my tips the food thing i i Tell people, and we've discussed this before on the show, it's the look at the whole buffet first. Yeah. Don't just start putting stuff on your plate at the beginning. Right. Walk the whole buffet. I always say, because I'm adventurous and it drives my kids crazy, try something new first. You can always go back and get French fries and chicken fingers. That that stuff's going to always be there. Try something new first. If you don't like it, that's okay. You didn't pay any extra for it. It doesn't really matter. So try something new first. You might discover something you've never had that's fabulous. Make sure it's protein-focused. Add vegetables, and we are not anti-anything. We're not anti-carb, anti-starch, any of that stuff. So we'll still eat a little bit of it. It is calorie-packed, so you want that to be a smaller portion of it. And then I love the active uh, excursions. Mm -hmm. And we've got – we're going to climb some waterfalls Mm -hmm. and zip line. And I was looking at a snorkeling excursion in maybe, I don't know, Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. So lots of fun stuff coming up. <clears throat> and the zip lining, that's the non-scale victory. Oh, for sure. Or I mean, several several victory. things are. I mean, when you look at cruise excursions, most of them that have any activity to them have, have weight a limits. Weight limit them. of 275 pounds. So a lot of times 
Yeah. We if we just didn't choose those because we couldn't. Because so. I don't want to be told I can't do that. That'd, yeah. That or would be weighed. That would be so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. That happened to my friend Elaine once. On the Carnival Mardi Gras, they, they, the Mardi Gras and the Jubilee both have a roller coaster on the, on the deck, which is oh. on the top, which is really cool. But you have to walk up and get on a scale. A scale. Like a, one of those big platform scales. Yeah. Like they have at Carowinds. And it doesn't actually say your weight, but red it will say red or green. Right. Like, not you. <laughs> oh, my so God. I, I no, I'm not doing that. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So anyway, it's it's. We can do different excursions that we haven't been able to pick before, so that's nice. And so, you know, I know your other one is, remember, you can have ice cream at home. Yeah, <coughs> so most of these cruise ships have the self-serve ice cream machine that we have a friend that we cruise with a lot of times. And he'll eat six ice cream cones a day. Like, he always is going back for that well, ice cream six cone. Well, he's 6'2 and weighs 180 pounds. <laughs> wet, so. Yeah, he's, he, he does not have the disease of obesity. No. <laughs> Nor does anyone in his his wife or children. They're they're very skinny people, not skinny people, but they don't have obesity. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to remind myself that I don't need to go visit the ice cream machine. I can have soft serve ice cream anytime I want. It's not leaving the planet just because I can go over there and it's free or included. Doesn't mean that I need to overindulge and I maybe get one. I, I'll get one soft well, The reality of that ice cream is it's not the best ice cream in the world anyway. It's okay. It, it's mm. standard buffet ice cream. It's not even, honestly, as good as McDonald's or uh, Dairy Queen. It's just okay. Yeah, right? it's just okay. And I have as much there. as you want. So. <laughs> it is tempting. So just remind yourself that nothing is leaving the planet. Things are going to be around forever ice cream is not leaving the planet you can have it anytime if you choose it so no need to shove your face full of it so and on the second ship we're on on the msc which msc if you don't know that line is owned is italian owned so they have a whole gelato thing and all that i would much rather yeah. not have any soft serve ice cream and have one scoop of gelato we have to pay extra for know, the gelato that's okay. so usually we i hate to pay extra for stuff on cruise ships okay? I, I don't mind if the quality's there Mad. It should all be included. But we have gotten the gelato in it. It is delicious. So, uh, you know, oh, check it out. So, once in 14 days in, in going to Kenya. <laughs> Especially if you're doing all the other things, like staying active and doing all the other things. So, that's that. And we've actually pre recorded quite a bit of stuff. So, you'll see interviews, you'll see some videos we've done, and then we'll be doing lives on Thursday nights from both ships. So yeah, seven. we'll still be live Thursday at 7 p.m. And then Eastern. pay attention because you might see us pop up live some other times. Just depends on what's going on. I'm thinking maybe we'll do some coffee chats or some lunch chats or mm -hmm. something just to show you what we're eating. And Yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe mm -hmm. so if we go live, you'll... Uh, Get a notification. Because I don't even know when or where it'll be, but it'll be a... It's a mystery to us. It'll be a mystery <laughs> to us. And, and on the Carnival ship, it's always a challenge because they play music everywhere, so you'll get copyright dings because they're playing the Cupid Shuffle in the background. Oh. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Yeah. I, I love a line dance. We're going to have to get Christopher line dancing. It seems improbable. Dunno. Let me know. Dun, 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 dun. It's electric. Yeah, so I love a line dance. So well, sail see, away that's party exercise for there. Yeah, exercise. Yeah, sometimes they have dance lessons too, where they'll teach you the cha cha or the salsa. Especially on the, the MSC cruise yeah. because they're a more international. They're they are based in Italy, so they have a well, lot. Well, we're of, sailing out of Miami. I would guess there's mm -hmm. a large Hispanic crowd there on that one out of Port Canaveral. Yeah. It was a lot of people from South America, different dancing, all kinds of cool dances. Well, and we're on a Facebook group for this particular week of this cruise that we're on. So there's a lot of people from, I saw somebody from Scotland, from all kinds of different places. I'm guessing there will not be Scottish line dancing, but it's possible. <laughs> Who knows? We did have a cruise director once that was the Flying Scotsman. Do you remember him? He wore a kilt the whole time. Vaguely. What? Yeah. Yeah. Vaguely. I think that was one of the, I don't remember which yet, but the Flying know. Scotsman, he was fun. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a good week. We both lost a little bit of weight. We've I ate, lost more than you this yeah, week. Yeah, you did. That's a good thing. We ate well. 
cooked every night. Mm-hmm. Plan on doing it again tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't. And then we. What's for dinner tonight. I have no idea. We'll I don't have to think wait. We and have see. anything in the house. We've been working too. through what's in the refrigerator because <laughs> we didn't want to go buy anything fresh and have it go bad while yeah. we were gone. And though, although I don't have the food noise constantly anymore, I do like to know in the morning what's for dinner at night. So sometimes I ask him what's for dinner, and he's, I haven't even thought about it. I'm like, how could you not even think about it? I still want to know. So anyway. Mm-hmm. Before I started taking this medicine, that's all I thought about. So yeah. now I'm like, ah, I don't know. We'll find something. And we have told people that we're taking our shots with us on the Yeah, on the and we'll actually do a video on, on traveling yeah. with the shots. We have a travel case that comes out on Saturday made um, for, for yep. the shots. So we'll take So that. watch for that. Mm-hmm. So that'll be good. We will travel with the shots as well. Did you have a gym story this week or no? I don't think so. No, no good gym stories. Wait, watch your story. No. Uh, there was a lady that wasn't I was a a regular in one of my classes and I hadn't seen her for a while and she came back to the gym I guess this is a gym story and she came back to the gym this past week and she said oh you're still losing weight how are how are you doing what's going on and I'm like yeah a little bit she's like how are you first of all I said oh were you on vacation she goes yes I was in her homeland of Kosovo and okay I, I don't know international that's fun so I told her weight loss shots. Uh, you, you know, I just got this blank, did not compute look. Sometimes when I get that that from other people, I double down and tell them more. Or sometimes I just am like, yeah, I'm doing that and that's it. And yeah, that's the end. I don't know. What do you guys do if if somebody asks you about your weight loss? Do you tell them or do you just mm-hmm. not tell them? I start a YouTube channel. I start a YouTube channel. That's what we do. I do tell people about my channel at the gym, and they're like. YouTube channel? <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, it's a whole nother <clears throat> so, conversation. Yeah. So that's us for this week. We also wanted to invite you to be a part of Club Downsize, which is our new YouTube membership program. It's designed to give you a little more value and support on your GLP-1 journey. All of our regular content, like our weekly weigh-ins, so this, the news updates, and Downsize Dish interviews will remain completely free. Have no fear. Yeah, Club Downsides just offers something extra for those who want to support us a little further. So you can get perks like loyalty badges, early video access, our exclusive Facebook group, Club Downsized, and even personalized monthly coaching sessions with either Christopher or me. So uh, click the join button and it'll tell you all about it. And I think we've got, when I looked this morning, there was almost 10 members, so we're growing rapidly. (laughs) <laughs> Not really, but we just appreciate any support that you that you guys would like to give in our content creation and you know this kind of passion project that we have for telling the world about GLP ones and building the community. Absolutely, we hope our updates and experiences have given you some insights and maybe even some motivation for your own personal journey. Please visit our website and GLP one companion product store at thedownsize.org for more resources. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you're always in the loop. You'll get all the alerts for those lives we're going to do. Yeah, thanks for being a part of the Downsize community, and we'll see you next week. Until then, take care and stay well.